Welcome back to Great Day. While COVID is still making news around the world, heart disease remains the number one killer. As we come to the end of Heart Month, Dr. John Cecil Walks with Texas Heart and Vein Multi-Specialty Group shares how we can tackle heart disease before it tackles us. Good morning, Dr. Walks. Good morning. All right. So oftentimes the reason why it comes as a, as a surprise because, is because leading up to a heart attack, there may not be any symptoms that people are aware of. Yeah, that's correct. I mean, heart disease, um, as you just described, is uh, prevalent in our in our society, in our community. But oftentimes the symptoms associated with someone having a heart attack or a stroke, per se, are not always obvious to the patient. So, for example, um, the classic symptoms of having chest pain or chest pain and it radiating up your neck or down your arm oftentimes aren't present. So um, it's important for people to know that, you know, heart disease and having a heart attack can present as, as uh, indigestion, um, as a little shortness of breath, um, as having difficulty walking. Um, so and the point is, subtle. the point it, is, we don't want to even get to that point. So uh, what are the signs of peripheral heart disease that could uh, give you an indication that something's not right? Well, you know, with peripheral vascular disease, as, as you know, you know, all the arteries and veins are, are interconnected in your body. So if, if someone has disease in their heart, oftentimes they'll have disease elsewhere in their body, so in their legs. And sometimes that disease can manifest as wounds on your leg, loss of hair on your legs, a kind of shiny appearance to your skin, and cramping when you walk. So those are some of the, some of the signs and symptoms. Yeah, you can do a screening test to verify if it is a heart issue. And so what is the treatment at that point? And I would imagine it varies depending on what's really going on. That's correct. So oftentimes we'll start by looking uh, with an ultrasound machine to see how the flow looks as a screening test in your legs. Uh, we'll do a test that looks at the, the blood pressure in your legs versus your arms. And that can lead us to end up needing to do um, a more advanced procedure to help improve the blood flow to your legs called an arteriogram, where we actually go in and squirt dye into the arteries and try to open up those arteries to get better blood flow down to your legs. Yeah, and in your name, Texas Heart and Vein Multi-Specialty Group. So sometimes it may not be a heart issue, but venous disease instead. Uh, some signs that it might just be a venous issue, and you all address that as well. Right, so venous disease is actually more common than uh, for some arterial disease. And venous disease will often look like uh, a wound that's around your ankle, discoloration of your skin around your ankle, swelling in the ankle region. And those, that can actually be very difficult to deal with. And it's, it's really hard on patients because those venous wounds tend to drain. So they tend to wet up your clothes and your socks and they smell. Um, and it really takes a, a, a mental toll on patients. So it's, it's really gratifying to be able to help treat those types of uh, wounds and people's extremities as well. You all don't only have the top expertise. You have cardiologists, cardiothoracic and vascular surgeons, podiatrists, and the list goes on and on. Uh, but you also offer convenience. It has got to be just a lifesaver for a lot of people to be able to go to you all and have several things taken care of under one roof. Right. I mean, that's... That's kind of where medicine's moving is kind of a comprehensive team approach to patient care. So, you know, we're, we, our practice is designed that, you know, we have a holistic approach to taking care of patients. Um, and, you know, if, if complicated patients come in, our group of cardiothoracic surgeons and cardiologists can sit down and talk about the cases and decide, you know, what's the best treatment for this patient? It doesn't have to be either one or the other, but it's really a comprehensive team approach. Yeah, and a number of those things can be done in the office and even access to disease medication management. Correct. All right, Dr. Walks, thank you very much. And again, it's, it's interesting how it is the number one killer of men and women around the world. Uh, and and it, it's one of those things that we can head off if we just go in and make sure we get checked. That's absolutely correct. Thank you. Thank you. Texas Heart and Vein Multi-Specialty Group has a special offer for Great Day viewers. The first 100 callers will receive a free arterial and venous ultrasound. This test is valued at $350 and can help determine if you have peripheral artery disease. To schedule your appointment, call this number right here. It's 281-888-0809. 281-888-0809.
0809 or visit them online at thvmg.com.